What's up everyone? So today we have a big adventure on our hands. I've been promising my little guy right here that I would take him on a fly-in camping trip. But you know how life goes, work gets in the way, weather gets in the way, and we haven't been able to do it. But today, everything is lining up perfectly and he's about to start school next week. So this is pretty much the only time we have to do this. But before we can go, we gotta start by trying to fit all this camping stuff into the actual plane. So we managed to get all the baggage in, in the back. That's, okay. good. So that's good, exactly. It's not really heavy, it's just more cumbersome than anything else. But you know, most of it is clothes and then lightweight sleeping bag, lightweight tent. And then he's bringing a bag with him because tomorrow I have to drop him off at his uh, grandma's, so my mother-in-law's. So we're gonna do a little pit stop on the way back to another airport and drop off big guy over here. All right, buddy, ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, field traffic, park shot, Charlie, park shot, kilo taking off two four. All right. Power on. And we're off. All right. Airspeed is alive, both places. And 60, and we're off the ground. Oh, we got a good headwind. She's climbing good. Since I don't have fuel at my airfield, our adventure would require that I make a pit stop in Cornwall first. Once that was taken care of, we could start our journey north towards our final destination of Molohi. The second leg was going to be the more challenging one, since I would have to cross what I consider to be the second busiest training area around Montreal. Also, half of that flight would be over dense forests and mountains, which leaves my options a little limited should I have an engine failure. But despite all this, I was really excited to get going. Info traffic, south shore of Montreal, Paper Park Parkshot Charlie, Parkshot Kilo just uh, took off from Valleyfield Airport, presently uh, seven nautical miles to the west of Valleyfield Airport, heading towards Cornwall at uh, 1600 feet on the south side of the St. Lawrence for any conflict of Parkshot Charlie, Parkshot Kilo. Since I've flown this portion of the flight many times in my other videos, I figured I'd save you guys some time and jump straight to our arrival in Cornwall. Let's go land this bad boy. <laughs> Cornwall traffic, Park Shot Charlie, Park Shot Kilo, just turn long, final for 2-8, full stop. Ah, oh, it's a rock and roll, huh? That wasn't the best, but we'll do it. That wasn't a great day, Cornell traffic, Fox Shot Charlie, Fox Shot Kilo, gonna backtrack uh, 2 8 to uh, the fuel pump. Once we landed in Cornwall, it was time to fill up the tanks, take a small bathroom break, file our flight plan, and then back in the plane for the final leg to Molohi. Good prep! Traffic, Fox Shot Charlie, Fox Shot Kilo, I'm gonna backtrack uh, 2 8 quickly uh, to get off my breath. Coronal Traffic, Fox Shot Charlie, Fox Shot Kilo, I'm actually gonna line up 2 8 and wait uh, for the twin to uh, get off and off, but then I'll take off. Thank you. Where are you going today? Mont Laurier, CSD4 for a little uh, aero camping. Are you ready? Alright. Coronal Traffic, Fox Shot. Charlie, first a kilo on the roll, two eight. All right, let's go. Airspeed is live, both places. That was a good one. Not bad. Cornwall traffic, Fox Shot Charlie, Fox Shot Kilo, initial climb 2-8, uh, I'm gonna turn to the uh, right towards 1-0, you presently 1500. Alright, let's go. 
As we started to climb and head north, I noticed that the visibility wasn't all that great. We also had a few rain clouds in the area that I was hoping to avoid. So I decided against climbing higher than 3,500 feet for now. Yeah, we're okay. It's like little clouds. Yeah. Well, not in the clouds, but we're under a bit of rain. That's okay. Under? Yep. The, the green stuff is rain. We're just catching the tail of it. It's okay. Just a little bit of rain. Yeah. I'll we'll wash the plane. What's the yellow stuff? What? What's the yellow stuff? It's uh, heavier rain. I love uh, XM radio weather. Miss all that. We navigated through the slight precipitation without any problems, but now we were heading into the training zone. With the low visibility, I was a little bit nervous, and it was time to keep my head on a swivel. Traffic advisory, Hawkesbury region, fiber track to Parkstock Charlie. Parkstock Kilo is 10 nautical miles southwest of the town of Hawkesbury, heading towards Mont Laurier at 3,000 feet. For any conflict, Parkstock Charlie, Parkstock Kilo. Unlike the U.S., Canada doesn't currently have an ADS-B mandate. We still rely heavily on position reports while flying in uncontrolled airspace. As pilots, it's up to us to keep track of where everyone is and adjust accordingly. Traffic east of uh, Gatineau, Cessna 150, Gulf of Quebec Hotel, southeast of uh, Wendover, 5,000 feet, uh, doing maneuvers from 3,000 to 5,000, Gulf of Quebec Hotel. Based on that position report, he should be in this area over here, which wouldn't be a problem, but I wanted to make sure that he knew I was there just in case he decided to drift eastward. For the last traffic doing maneuvers in the Wendover area, this is Piper Cherokee, Park Shot Charlie, Park Shot Kilo, I'm set 3,000 feet, I'm gonna try to slide in directly over town of Le Five, uh, so I should be uh, out of your way, but I'm heading towards uh, Mont Laurier at 3,000. Roger, thank you. That was one possible conflict sorted out, but like I said earlier, this training area does get a bit busy, and it didn't take long before we had a second position report near us. Under frequency, this is conflict ski x Victor, uh, currently at 5,500, just uh, uh, five nautical miles to the east of the city of Alfred. Practicing maneuvers between uh, 5,500 and 1,500, be advised. This position report felt closer than the other one since I had just flown over the town of Alfred. And you know what, when in doubt, never be afraid to ask for clarification. For the last traffic in the region of Alfred, can you uh, give me exactly uh, where you're at? Because I'm about two nautical miles uh, north of Alfred. Uh, currently five nautical miles east, directly east of Alfred at 5,500. Uh, uh, correction, 4,500 and descending, uh, be advised. Uh, we'll keep on the south part of Alfred, if that's okay with you. Yeah, that's fine. I'm almost over uh, the river, so it should be no conflict. I'm at 3,200. Park Star Charlie, Park Star Kilo. Roger, call for the gas. Thank you. Good day. Now that we were leaving the training zone, I could start to relax again. I also got a special request from my little man. Ah? Uh, what? Well. Did you talk about the what? Avion? What? Uh, why? Sure. Looks like I might not need that autopilot upgrade just yet. I let him keep the plane leveled for a good while. Anything to keep him busy makes his flying experience a lot more enjoyable. And it wasn't too long until we got to our destination. It so happens that my new partner in the Cherokee had rented a plane while waiting on his insurance check ride, and he had decided to fly to Mont Laurier as well today. Mont Laurier traffic, this is a Cessna 122, Delta 2 Whiskey, currently 8 miles to the southeast of the uh, airfield, 5,300, climbing to 5,500, uh, heading at southeast for a mission. Already heading out, Darwin? Yep. Alright, safe flight, buddy. Fuck your Charlie, fuck your kill. You too, have a great camping trip.
Voilà. All right. T'es arrivé, mon loup? Content? Yes. All right, so we made it to Mont Laurier. Now it's time to empty out the plane and set up camp. Now that the tent is all set up and camp is good to go, it's time for some fishing. Let's go fishing! So, there's a really cool... Kind of jet? Kind of jet that's uh, parked at uh, the Mont Laurier Airport. I don't know what it is. If, if you guys know what type of aircraft this is, comment below, because I have no idea what this is. It's getting a little later, so we're gonna head back to our little campsite, to the plane, and then uh, we're gonna start cooking our little uh, camping dinner, see if it's any good. If it's not good, then we'll just throw it out and go to the restaurant next to the airport. So <laughs> that's kind of the plan. Well? Is it better than our frozen food? <laughs> All right, so we just came back from going to the restaurant to get ourselves a, a, fry. a fry. Yes, a fry, because our dehydrated meal that we prepared wasn't quite fulfilling enough. But anyway, so it's pretty crazy how quiet the airport's gotten. The uh, guy who runs the Unicom already went home and now the sun's coming down. So the little man and me are just gonna cozy up in the tent. I have the iPad with some movies. We'll do a little movie night until uh, we both pass out, basically. Good morning, everyone. So, it's like 6.30 a.m. And uh, yeah, we had a good night's sleep. A couple mosquitoes made it into the tent and I feel like my legs got destroyed. But uh, other than that, everything went pretty well. Did you sleep well? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're going to make ourselves a little breakfast and uh, definitely going to need a coffee. So, is it good? That's, that was very, very needed. <laughs> I guess we're gonna start tearing down camp slowly but surely, get the plane ready. And uh, I'm gonna go drop off the little man at an airport closer to his grandma's. And then from there after that, I'll just head back home, but he's gonna spend some time with grandma. So it's a double whammy weekend. Camping with dad and then a week with grandma. So, are you happy about that? Yeah. Yeah, he's happy. I'm happy to camp with you. Yes, it was super fun. Thank you, buddy. So it was perfect, fun, first adventure camping. I think there's going to be more. Are we going to do it again? Yeah. yeah we're going to do it again. Uh, at the airport. At another airport? Yeah, we'll go find some place a little bit different. But uh, yeah, so, oh, someone just landed. So let's get the plane uh, ready and pack up all this stuff. Well, that's going to be it for this adventure. If you made it to the end, thank you so much. And please consider clicking that like button and subscribing. I'll catch you on the next one. Fly safe, guys.